today Gloria and I are going to explore a place called Lake Katrine, Loch Katrine, like the Scottish L-O-C-H. Uh, we're in a little town at the moment which is tiny. Now this little town is called Hawarden, H-A-W-A-R-D-E-N. There's one shop that's closed, not that we wanted anything. Loch Katrine in New Zealand is apparently named after Loch Katrine in Scotland. The Loch Katrine in Scotland is very close to Loch Lomond. And due to the number of people with Scottish heritage on South Island, I'm guessing that the name was given to remind them of home. The lake is fairly small. It's a glacial lake. It's 78 hectares in size. In the deepest part, it's 28 meters. And according to one of the fishermen I met, the fishing is excellent. To fish the lake, you need a fishing license. On the way in, the first lake you get to is Lake Taylor. The campsite was busy. There must have been uh, probably 50% of the sites occupied but it was quite busy that's what I'm trying to get across from Lake Taylor there's a track with a gate which runs up the western side of Lake Taylor which goes to Lake uh, Loch Katrine uh, it's designated as a four-wheel drive road I don't know probably grade one in the Arctic place maybe grade two but really not difficult Once you've passed Lake Katrine, we drove to the end and there's a gate which is locked. To get permission to go through that gate and to get the code for the combination lock, you have to speak to the farmer. We were only going for the day, so I had not arranged that permission. But it looks like a fun place. What's nice about it is that it's only um, 93 kilometers from Amberley. So it's easily doable in just over two hours. The road is not in good condition. The surface is very corrugated. So I would suggest deflating your tires slightly. Also, the, 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 the surface of the road consists of lots of little loose stones. So if you were to apply brakes sharply, there's a good chance you're going to slide. Uh, the road has lots of curves and corners, and most of them are blind corners. You cannot see what's coming. Will I go back? Most definitely. I really like the place, I like the area, lots of fishing opportunities and all I'll do is make sure that it's not a public holiday or a long weekend and uh, just take a normal weekend. Remember your fishing license and you can fish in the rivers on the way through and in the lakes. So a really nice place to spend a weekend, nice and quiet, really pretty and apparently the water's cold if you want to swim. But yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time. Like a bird 